here is a quick build for the spear and shield that you may want to try out for yourself. This build on Mercenary will maximize the damage and stagger of the Spield and allow you to take more punishment from the Hordes of Chaos. For level 5, choose whichever talent works best for you. For level 10, choose More the Merrier. Since you will be up in front at all times, you will nearly always benefit from a 20% power increase. For level 15, choose Mainstay if you wish to focus on Horde control, or choose Smiter if you wish to single out Elites and Specials in the Horde. For level 20, choose Reikland Reaper for that extra power increase. For level 25, choose Blade Barrier so that you can take more punishment when you are in the thick of it. Lastly, for level 30, choose Walk It Off. Stacking Blade Barrier and Walk It Off gives you a massive amount of damage reduction which will allow you to constantly stay at the front of the horde and take the aggro off of your team. And with the benefits from More the Merrier and Reikland Reaper, you will also be able to dish out a hefty amount of damage. However, if you prefer something a little more aggressive in nature, then take a look at this Footnight build instead. For level 5, choose whichever talent works best for you. For level 10, choose Have At Thee. If you kit out your Spield with Opportunist and Power vs. Berserkers, and have Power vs. Berserkers on your Trinket, then you will be able to stagger Monks and Chaos Berserkers out of their Frenzy with a push from your Shield, making you able to tank every elite unit in the game and push them around. For levels 15 and 20, you need either Enhanced Power or Comrades in Arms in order to reach that breakpoint to stagger monks out of their frenzy. Choose which one of those you'd prefer, then for the other row choose whichever talent best suits you. For level 25, choose Counter Punch, which will allow you to shove more frequently and keep those elites in check. Lastly, for level 30, choose whichever talent best suits you. Numb to Pain is good for survivability, Battering Ram is good for keeping massive amounts of armor and bosses in check, and Bull of Ostland is good for the extra damage.